thing we want to do is just inspect the uh, <coughs> Sorry. rate, rhythm, and depth of breathing. So just count respirations and um, and then check for paradoxal breathing. So paradoxal like this way or paradoxal this way. So it could be either way. And then check if they're using pursed lips or if they're using their accessory muscles or if they're in tripod position, if they have any difficulty speaking. That means they probably have difficulty breathing as well. And like check for like wheezing. Sometimes you can hear wheezing just like that. Um, and then you want to check the AP ratio of the chest. So it should be like two to one. So you want to check the barrel of chest and air trapping, which she clearly does not have. <laughs> and then so you just want to go into auscultating the lungs. So remember to put your things in correctly. <laughs> And go ahead, take a deep breath with your mouth open, slow and deep, and exhale. Another one. All right, so I'm not quite sure how many you check in the front, but then in the back, would you, you check around? on the side? Right. Two on the front and two on the side. Okay. And then, okay, so can you turn around so that we can see? And so when you're auscultating in the back, you want to go one, two, and compare the two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel like that's like way overboard, but that's what she had in the book. Um, so just compare each side and then demonstrate palpation for tactile parameters. So what you want to do is Move to the side. Yeah, just sit sideways in the chair. Thank you, my dear. So what you want to do is just like, I guess put your hands like this and then have the patient say 99 over and over again. So go ahead. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. You're just feeling for when the vibrations stop. And then, um, and so, you're gonna percuss the thorax. So just normal percussion and you're looking for a change in sound. So you're looking for where the diaphragm is. And I guess you probably want to have your patient hold their breath so, and then hold your breath too so you know when to breathe, to have the patient <coughs> breathe. We're just gonna suffocate. <laughs> um, so I think her sound changed. So you just want to check where the sound changes, and then mark it, and then mark it on this side, and see if it's even that way. Um, and then you want to check for exertion. So just put your thumbs together here. Go ahead and exhale completely. And then inhale. And you're looking for your thumbs to separate over there. And if they do, then that's great. Go ahead and breathe. <laughs> um, and then you want to check the lymph, lymph nodes in the axillary. So if I can turn around to a little bit. So have the patient pick up her arm. And you want to check on top here <laughs> <laughs> and go all the way to the bottom and kind of from the back as well and check all those lymph nodes and then breast exam <laughs> <laughs> for the breast exam we drew a picture <laughs> yes they're uneven Kelsey thank you you just want to go from side, you want to start in the armpit, and then go all the way across. You want to make sure to go all the way from the top to the bottom, so you don't miss any of the areas. And then, it's not, I guess when you're feeling, you want to go in a circular motion, but you still want to do the zigzag lawnmower pattern, so you don't miss anything. And then you can either have the patient laying down with their arm behind their head, or standing with their arm behind their head. So you can get to the lymph nodes in the armpit, too. Oh yeah, and then you want to make, when you do the breast exam, you obviously want to inspect and visualize whether anything's different. If there's any, um, I think it's, <laughs> well, I mean, 
peopleness, but the like if there's like a texture that's kind of a orange like an peel, orange, like. like it's like an orange peel mm -hmm. where it's kind of puckered and then dimply. And so you just want to make sure everything looks normal and feels normal. What about your nipple? Oh yeah, you don't want any redness discharge from the nipple. That's something to worry about. Unless you just had a baby. Yeah, unless, unless they're lactating. Just a baby. I think she said what would be important too is how often. Oh yeah, this. you want to check every it's month, probably month for around the same time. Either I think it's a week after your a week cycle. Before. No, not a week before because then you're going to be really sore. Yeah, so a week after. after. So a week after. Oh, then after. Or if you don't have a regular, you just pick one day every month to do a breast exam. And, and then, then it's for men, it would be like about every four months. Every mm -hmm. four months, I think. I think it's three to four weeks. Yeah. But yeah, it's not specific to women. And unless it's in, do it too. Unless it was in the family for men. Mm -hmm. Then you should check more mm -hmm. often. <coughs> well done, guys. Uh, I got a couple of things. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, trying to remember what I was Get in the video. Um, so, <laughs> well, thank you. The video. Hey, thank you. Uh, can you sit for me, Sam? So, when you're doing the 99, mm -hmm. oh. just do it sideways from there. Um, you kind of went like this. Say, say 99. 99, 99, 99. See how fast she's going? Mm -hmm. Have her go. Say 99. 99, 99, 99. Because you got to feel each. Okay. 99. Oh, okay. Not just 99, 99. It wasn't 99. your fault, it was my fault. You know, because you're going to just be in a constant vibration mm -hmm. at that point. It's a tongue twister. Yeah. And um, there's one other thing that I was trying to remember. Was it the breast exam? You know, you did the excursion. For sure. Oh, um, the other thing was make sure <laughs> when you do the left goats, like you were saying, mm -hmm. you want to be able to take all the weight off that arm. Oh, remember? Yeah, so I you don't. That. So if you don't want her holding it up for herself, mm -hmm. so either get low enough to where you can hook it yourself, and then throw underneath and do it yeah, that way, that. or have her even just relax it right there. <laughs> And do it that way. Mm -hmm. But if she's holding it up, six you're going to feel muscle, muscle and not lymph nodes. Right. Well, it felt tender in here. That's why. Sorry. Well, no, I don't it's think it was your fault. Just felt. Yeah. So. I told you. Sorry. I'm sweaty. Trying to feel my. Anything else, guys, that y'all can think Sean of? Sean said it's three to four months. For it's four to six months four to six for the months. male. Four to six months. Four to six months. Okay. When four to six months for a male. Test of the expansion. What was that under here for? That's you had the tactile from primitive, but then when you guys did the long expansion, yeah. it was the ex that that here. It was the excursion. Oh, we added it here, but we forgot to put it back over there. Yeah, because it wasn't really in her list. But we were gonna I didn't see it in her list so. either, so I was just wondering if I missed something. No, you didn't. Okay, so it's every month a week after your cycle for female, and four to six months for male. Yeah. Okay. I just remember her doing. Mm -hmm. Class, yeah, so I mean, I would just add it to the the tactile for Midas because we went over it in class. You know, she made yeah. such a big deal in class. I would just add it. And then it they said yeah. it only takes well, a few I extra about seconds. It too, when I was making up my cards, but in the yeah. book, see it, like, in the book it said you need a stethoscope, mm -hmm. um, a marking pencil, and a centimeter ruler, a measuring tape. Mm -hmm. But your pinky's like a centimeter, so if you just use your pinky to measure the. Yeah. Excursion. Do you remember what is normal expansion for that? Excursion? It's just if you get movement, you just want your separation. Which one is not a lot, though. Excursion? It's not on there, but oh. she did stress it in class. Yeah. Yeah. Excursion was the one here. Because, yeah, you guys did. I was like, wait a minute. Excursion was the one here where mm -hmm. when you breathe all the way out and you grab hold, I'll take a deep breath in and see how my thumb separate. Okay. Just a little. It's like yeah, it's not a lot though. It should be it's just maybe a, a centimeter. And that goes so. after the more so for men. Tactile, tactile for mice, probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's the other thing. Yeah, that's common. Like like knowing Jody, you're a respiratory yeah. therapist. Mm -hmm. Listen like a respiratory yeah. therapist. Oh, One, two, three, oh, right, four, yeah. four <laughs> five, well, six, six. Yeah. and then another yeah. side. I would do. Because you're like, I don't know how many. I would definitely do at least. 
It's only hard to get right here. Okay, how many in the back, guys? There's 10. 10 in the back. So we need to count 10 in the back? And the four in the front, one on the sides? In the class, she said, she said six. Like well, sure, she, like she, wants, six, she wants you to listen to six, but no. Like <laughs> you're going to get to the bases hold on, guys. the side. Have two. It's too loud. Hey, guys, hold on a second. You're going to get to the bases when you listen to the side. Mm -hmm. If you just do the two in the front and then you listen to each side, that's also going to take care of these. This little bit here. Okay, so, so how many, exactly tell me how many we need front. to do front and back. Well, actually, let's do front first. So for front, we listen to apex, apex, underneath, underneath. Axillary, axillary. Okay. Turn, and then I would go one, two, three, four, five, six. And Just that's a it. Pulmonary adjustment. Okay. Basic pulmonary, mm -hmm. like we normally do. Okay. Because your cool. your eight through ten is pretty adjustment. much over here. I, well, it's like Owen has his listener. You don't ever listen down here. Here, yeah, and here. No. Yeah, yeah, you can above. Listen in yeah, let's listen above. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, okay. Right here. Any other I recommendations? Mean, right here. Men. Women listen above men. Are we good? It depends. I mean, you could do. 